Well, when food prices spike, as they're doing at the moment, it is always the poorest who are hit hardest. That's as true here in America as it is in the rest of the world. A growing number of people in the U.S. are going hungry, and charitable food banks are stretched to the limit. As Richard Lister reports now, it's a crisis that threatens to get even worse. At her Washington home, Lucy Stokes is trying to stock up. She's one of millions of Americans classified as food insecure, relying on charities for groceries like these and $10 a month in government food assistance. Her income is fixed, but her costs are rising, so she's cutting back. I really need some extra money to take me through the month, so I have to cook smaller amounts and eat smaller amounts. Lucy's biggest problem is that her grocery bill has shot up over the past year. Bread that she paid $1.74 is now almost $2. Her gallon of milk is another 50 cents, and she's paying almost 30% more for eggs. Many people simply can't afford those prices, and charities like Bread for the City in Washington are busier than ever. America may be the most prosperous nation on earth, but even here, some 35 million people can't afford to buy the food they need. For some, that means skipping meals so their children have enough to eat. For others, it means a life on the breadline. Number six. We've served more than 10,000 more people this year than we did last year for the same period. Typically, families are eligible once a month to get these supplemental groceries we provide. But I'm seeing more and more people coming back during the, during the same month saying, you know, can you help me again? Higher costs mean bread for the city's food bill is $20,000 more than a year ago. But for many who come here, these groceries are the difference between eating and going hungry. I picked up some tuna fish, some bread. Have you noticed food prices going up? Everything. Go to the store, order, get $20 food. You used to get four, three or four bags. Now you get one bag and you don't have enough money. It is a global phenomenon that's seen demand for food rise, supplies shrink, and prices go through the roof. It's caused riots in other countries, but now hunger in America, too, is on the rise. Some of the people who are food insecure but not hungry in government jargon will now be hungry. Those families that are hungry will get more hungry. And also, millions of people who don't fall into these categories or didn't a year ago are going to start to fall into these categories. This year's farm bill increased the food assistance budget by $10 billion. But even those who fought hardest for the legislation accept that it's a Band-Aid, not a cure. One of the easiest things for people to give up is food because of all of the other costs that they have to deal with. So they're giving up food. I mean, what does that say about us as a country? Which means that the government has to respond. Lucy Stokes will see her food stamps increase by just $4 a month under the new legislation, the price of two loaves of bread. It's not enough, but she's making the best of it. I don't be depressed because if I'm depressed and down, that's just another medication I have to take, which means there's more money out of my pocket. So I have to stay sort of upbeat to survive. Survival is becoming increasingly hard for tens of millions of Americans as the economy slumps and food prices soar. Even the world's wealthiest nation is wondering how to feed its own people. Richard Lister, BBC News, Washington. And still ahead here on BBC World News America, our correspondent travels deep into the badlands of Pakistan's Swat Valley. Long the scene of fierce battles with the Taliban, suddenly there's peace but at what price? And later, from Saudi Arabia to Asia, the hot topic this weekend is oil. The Saudis are promising to produce more of it. The rest of us are paying more for it.